One fire dragon versus 500 zombies. Ten cyclops versus 50 mutant skeletons. Ice dragon army versus a fire dragon army. And many many more. But quickly, we're almost at 100 subscribers. So if you could even consider subscribing, it means a ton. Alright, so let's start with two mutant zombies versus 300 zombified piglins. Now, I have to say that these mutant zombies are no joke when it comes to strength. But the piglins are larger in numbers and they are way smarter which might give them an upper hand. The piglins sure did knock the zombies once or twice but they had no chance to begin with. The two mutant zombies decimated these piglins into non-existence. Okay so I need you guys to pick who you think will win in a fight. 15 iron golems or 500 bees. This was so insane. As soon as the battle started the bees were determined to kill the iron golems. Sure the golems are hard to kill but the bees have short tempers and can move very fast. So they might have a chance of defeating these golems and don't forget, again the bees are larger in numbers and they work in group which could be a bad sign for the golems. The bees didn't stop no matter what and sure enough they knocked one or two golems but despite their hard work they couldn't match the power of the golems and soon enough the battle was decided with iron golems still standing. 3 mutant endermen versus 300 pillagers. We all know that these pillagers are angry little fuckers and would destroy anything in their pet. But the mutant endermen are no slouch either. I was not expecting this because the endermen were doing some sort of voodoo. They were transforming, teleporting and summoning ender ghosts. This is unbelievable. I thought the pillagers had a chance but I guess not. 10 ravages versus 100 polar bears. Now this sounds more exciting than it seems because the ravagers couldn't care less. They are way too arrogant to get involved with these polar bears and that was their downfall. I mean half of the polar bears bears didn't even join the fight yet they still came on top. 3 mutant creepers versus 300 witches. The witches are cunning creatures, they will do anything to get what they want and in this case they wanna win. But the mutant creepers are a different breed. I thought they would die after one explosions but they just keep exploding. And what's more interesting is that they can also summon these mini creepers that can also explode which is a bad sign for the witches. But the witches came prepared with their own attack potion. I don't know what it does but it worked because the mutant creepers were contemplating their existence and one by one all three mutant creepers exploded and disappeared. So this round goes to the witches. 10 cyclops versus 50 mutant skeletons. The mutant skeletons are the most acrobatic creatures around and they have a pristine target aim. But the cyclops are really big with barbaric strength. Once they pick you up they won't let go of you until you broke it into small pieces. This was supposed to be a one-sided battle and it seemed that way for a while until the mutant skeletons started doing these trick shots with their arrows and everything went downhill from that point on and eventually the mutant skeletons came on top. One fire dragon versus 500 zombies. But before that I need you guys to comment who you think will win in this fight. As I removed the barrier the zombies came right for the dragon to get a piece of it but the dragon wasn't just gonna let that happen and went straight for the fire breed attack which killed half of the zombies. Zombies. But goddamn, these zombies are not backing down either. They must really like dragon meat. For a moment, it seemed like the dragon was backing off, but it was far from the truth. The fire dragon literally picked these zombies like ragdolls while shooting fire at the other zombies at the same time. But still, it wasn't enough. So it took the fire dragon three more tries to finally kill all the zombies and take its rightful place as the winner of this round. Five mutant zombies versus 40 trolls. As soon as the walls disappeared, these two creatures went straight for it and created one of the most insane battles yet. The unstoppable force finally met the immovable object. The trolls had a plan to gang up on these zombies individually to immobilize them. But these incredible Hulk looking zombies had a trick up their sleeves too. Just like the mutant creepers from the previous battle, these zombies could summon mini zombies to join the fight and I couldn't believe my eyes. This shifted the momentum of the battle from trolls ganging up on the zombies to Uno reverse card. The testosterone was at all time high and no one was backing off. But eventually using the Hulk smash these zombies came on top as the winner of this insane battle. 50 Arrowbirds versus 200 Pillagers. As the barrier was lifted, the Pillagers cornered these poor birds for execution. But reality is often disappointing because the Arrowbirds were just regrouping for a team attack. And as soon as they started shooting those arrows, the Pillagers hadn't seen a worse day 
in their lives. They started panicking and the numbers quickly dropped to a few. But this one survival fought like a brave warrior till the end. But still it wasn't enough and the arrow birds won the battle. And finally the battle of the beasts. Ice dragon army versus a fire dragon army. But quickly I want you guys to pick your side for this battle and let's begin. As soon as the dragons were let loose all broke hell. Thought the main focus of this battle was the two majestic dragons. The army itself didn't disappoint either. As I said the fire dragon free it went straight for the ice dragon and cornered it with its fire breathe attack. In the heat of the moment the ice dragon flew upwards towards the sky to ease the pain but the fire dragon followed suit to finish the battle and to my surprise the ice dragon used its ice breathing attack to freeze the fire dragon and pushed it back to the ground and thus the battle of the breathing started. Fire versus ice, heat versus cold and solid versus gas. This also gave the mutant zombies a chance to finally attack the fire dragon as he was on the ground and thus after a few moments with its last breath the fire dragon was finally killed. But all those fire attacks also took a toll on the ice dragon so it went down to catch its breath but the mutant creepers were patiently waiting for their chance to. So as soon as the ice dragon landed the explosion started and thus putting the ice dragon out of its misery. But the battle was still undecided because the army from both sides were still fighting. It was a close battle but it was obvious that those explosions also took a toll on the mutant creepers themselves. And after a few moments the only creatures remaining on the battleground was the mutant zombies and thus holding the throne of the victory for their master. The ice dragon army won the battle. And that's that Minecraft's most insane mob battle. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, peace.